Aloha. So I've got some changes to my tank. Um, I decided that I needed a little bit more lighting and I wanted to handle the lighting a little differently than I was previously. Uh, I also moved some of the hardware itself. So some of that hardware is shifted from directly in the uh, tank stand to off to the side, but in a, a quasi makeshift control board, if you will. Uh, so I'll show you that here in a second. And I'll talk about um, the lid that I'm going to be putting on here. That's coming very soon. So without further ado, here's the tank. So the big change uh, you can see, and it's kind of evident from distance here, is I went with a second uh, Orbit, um, Orbit Marine IC light fixture. This was my original. This is the new one here. Because uh, when you add one as an update, you don't have to buy the loop controller with it and you don't have to buy any other modules. You get the light, you get the power supply, and I didn't need the other hardware. So Current USA has this for 180 as a separate fixture. However, they are running a deal where if you order directly from them, you also get 20% off. So that's $36 off of a $180 purchase. So that, that wasn't a bad deal at all. Uh, then I also got these uh, these brackets from them. Now my only problem with the brackets, and it's a, it's a minor hiccup, is I have a very narrow tank, and you can see they do protrude slightly in front of the tank. Nothing much I can do about it right now. I've been thinking about alternatives to the brackets, so what may end up happening is I may uh, fashion myself a uh, holder by using these uh, brackets underneath here tied into a single metal bar across and then suspending them. So I may suspend these lights. Um, shouldn't be hard to do. Should be pretty easy to, to fashion that holder. And this here, this uh, cover is gonna go away as well. So is this one. I have the uh, Red Sea kit to, to build custom covers on the way. So I'm going to basically have two covers because I'm going to use the brace here as a separation between the two. And I'm going to move these um, light bars or light, light supports, I'll say, down to the ends. So I'll have one on the extreme end here and one on the extreme end down here where you can kind of see those three cables in the back. Th this uh, particular cover will literally be just the rectangular cover with with no need to do anything special. This one will have to have a cutout in the back specifically for this as well as there's my auto top off line you can see it there and there's a line for auto the auto top off center itself is here and the power head is here so I will have to make a notch for those but that, that, that's been the most drastic update uh, I've added a little bit to the tank as well uh, see if you can see them there's a uh, Royal Grandma running around in there now somewhere as well as a lawnmower blenny so some, some new livestock Added a few more corals, pretty happy with them. And the other, I'll uh, call it the piece of resistance, if you will. If we come down here, this is my, um, I call it a control board for lack of a better term. It's really not a, uh, on you know, on par with any of the great stuff you see for the, the Neptune Apex rigs and whatnot. And you can still see some sawdust down in this corner here because I literally just finished building this and cutting the holes and whatnot. I'm gonna take that tape off on the side there because all those cables are actually labeled in the back as well. It fits in here really snugly. Um, it was made to specifically go in there and I tucked my cabling in the back so that now underneath I have a couple power bars or power strips or a power strip here, but a couple of uh, of the power supplies are just off to the side on the inside of the stand so there's very little in the inside of the stand 
but the auto top off system and uh, the one main power strip. But I figured that would be a cool way to make it look a little fancier. So all in all, those are the changes to the tank. The next big change coming from a tank, and pardon those pieces on the floor there, I literally just finished doing my tank update. Uh, but the next change is those custom lids. After those lids are done, I'll be honest, I don't know what else I'm going to update in the tank because at that point I think it's where I want it to be. And I'll probably end up leaving it for a while. No need to really change. Oh, off to the left there. I don't know if you saw that, uh, the lawnmower bunny. He just poked his head up. There he goes. Nope. Nope, that, that right. That was my coral beauty. No. Somewhere in the back there, my lawnmower bunny was hanging out. Oh, is that him? No. He's in here somewhere. He also likes to hang out behind the Fiji all-in-one off to the side. So he'll be randomly poking his head out back there. But I've had a lot of good luck with the tank so far. No, uh, no loss of livestock, if you will. Everybody's been doing great. Let's see if I can see anybody. Oh, way in the back by the rocks there, if you can see that movement, that's him. On that back wall, there's my uh, lawnmower blunty. My royal grandma's really good at hiding. But yeah, that's just a quick update. If you have any questions, you know, throw them below. If you get any ideas for my tank, please, you know, by all means. <laughs> um, I'm always looking for good ideas. I don't, I can't think of any, any extra hardware to add though. I'll be honest. I think I'm at the point where the tank is as good as it's going to get unless I do a major major hardware update and I I don't really want to spend any more money on it right now excuse me so I think it's going to stay right where it is so thanks for watching you know I hope everybody is uh staying safe out there and enjoying their tanks and happy reef keeping man